I have just been working all morning editing some photos and then filming a video um, but I just got a really exciting package I don't know if it'll be exciting for you but it's exciting for me I ordered some new lights for my product photos so I'm gonna set them up and have a look at them I purchased a new lighting setup for my product photography I usually love shooting outside in the direct sunlight, it gives me the nice bright light but also the harsh shadows that I love. Um, so this lighting setup will help me to get that look without actually being outside which is great because then it means I don't have to um, wait for a sunny day if there's clouds, it's not dependent on the weather and I'm not in the heat getting sunburnt as well. If you want to hear more about my product photography I will link my Instagram down below. I recently discovered that instead of just draining out the water that you use to cook your noodles or your rice or your pasta or your potatoes even, you can actually save this and use it to water your plants and it's meant to fertilize them and be really good for them. So the last couple times that I've made noodles, I've just saved the water and let it cool down and use it to water my plants. I don't do this with pasta water because I salt my pasta water. So be careful, you do not want to water your plants with water that has salt in it because that will not be good for them. But anyway, I just had lunch. I made some noodles with some broccoli and some chicken that I had in the fridge, which looks pretty similar to what I usually eat um, for lunch when I'm working from home. It's usually some variation of noodles or rice with either tofu or chicken. Um, and whatever veggies are in the fridge just because it's super easy and quick thing to be able to make while I'm working from home. It has been a pretty productive day. I've been finding a pretty good rhythm of balancing my Zuri creative work um, and also trying to create some more consistent content for my YouTube channel which has been really nice. I've also been waking up a lot earlier which has been so good and just spending a lot more time by myself which I actually forgot how much I enjoyed. But I think this afternoon I'm going to set aside a little bit of time to read because I haven't been reading very much recently. Um, I think I'm going to pick back up this book that I started at the end of last year. It's called The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. Even though I don't really feel like reading and I'm still struggling with my faith, I think sometimes you just need to do the thing that you know is going to be good for you despite how you're feeling. But I wanted to read you guys this prayer from this book um, because I think it's been really aligning with how I've been feeling recently. Um, I read this prayer quoted in a separate book and it is what made me want to get this book to read it. Um, so yeah, maybe it will resonate with one of you. Um, it says, Oh God, I have tasted thy goodness and it has both satisfied me and made me thirsty for more. I am painfully conscious of my need for further grace. I am ashamed at my lack of desire. O oh God, the triune God, I want to want thee. I long to be filled with longing. I thirst to be made more thirsty still. Show me thy glory, I pray thee, so that I may know thee indeed. Begin in mercy a new work of love within me. Say to my soul, rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. 
Then give me grace to rise and follow thee up from this misty lowland where I have wandered so long. In Jesus' name, amen. And I just think that is such a beautiful, honest prayer and has been a cry of my heart recently. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go read this book for a little bit um, and then do some more work. I'm going to plan a photo shoot for tomorrow, plan some more YouTube videos to film this week, and just keep living my life. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you.